It's getting towards the end of June again and my books are stacking up, so let's see what we got. Hey, what's going on? I'm Jesse, you're watching JLS Comics. Welcome back to another video. Today is a haul video. This is for the end of June 2016. I know we're not quite at the end of June, but um, I had a couple things that I wanted to show you. Um, like I just said, my books are stacking up, so I don't want to uh, have too many to show all in one big long haul, so split it up a little bit here. Um, I haven't gotten my books though for um, this past Wednesday, the 22nd I think it was. So these are going to be for previous and then some variants and stuff that have come in. So excited to show you these. First up here is Justice League number 51. It's a newsstand variant as well. Um, normally with the UPC it says direct if it will focus, but that does not. Um, also, this cover was supposed to be for issue number 52. Uh, and you can clearly see it's not for issue number 52. This is on issue 51. It was a recall and um, it was an error. So um, picked up a couple of these um, and this one I'm happen, be happening to keep here. So it's a new stand, but um, I managed to get one that is very clear and straight, sharp edges all around. Spine is really great too. So um, that's not always something that you can find easily with the new stand. So I was happy with that. Um, so there you go, Justice League 51. Next up, we're going to go through some Batman Rebirth stuff here. This is um, Batman number one, of course. You can tell by the words on it. Um, and this is the the variant cover for it, the Tim Sale cover. David Finch, it says. Uh, I thought that was the other one. Oh, no, this is the regular. This is the, sorry, this is the regular cover. And this is the variant by Tim Sale. Yeah, Tim Sale. So there you go. Um, so there's the first first issue, the one-to-one -one variant. So now we're gonna get into a couple of the other Batman books. Here we have uh, Batman number one. This is by the late great Michael Turner. Um, you know, it was very. I'm sure you guys are quite aware. Um, you know, for some of the people within the community, you know about this. If you're outside of the community or new to it, maybe not uh, new to collecting, uh, but. Aspen Comics, uh, which is the company that Michael Turner worked for when he was still alive. He passed away, I think it was 2008. Um, and DC Comics uh, collaborated to, to bring out some, some variant covers. So this was the first one that they did. Uh, it was Batman number one. It's a cover. Um, it's from a sketchbook actually that he did in one of the conventions. So they took uh, his, some of his unused in terms of you know cover art uh, pieces of art and, and used it for the cover so that went really quickly it sold out in like 24 hours um, I did manage to get myself a color copy there was a black and white as well so really happy to have that in my collection love Michael Turner been a fan of his ever since really since he has been working on Fathom which was back in the 90s so um, really dig his artwork um, next we have uh, this one here it is uh, by Gabrielle Delato uh, this was made by Bulletproof Comics, and I uh, really love this cover as well. Get up close to it here. Got Batman and Catwoman on it. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Really loved a lot of his work. Um, he's really churning them out. Um, he's already got one up for uh, Harley Quinn, which is coming up soon. So, um, If you want another Batman or uh, Aspen, they're doing Justice League, uh, and that comes out tomorrow, which is the 26th. So that will be, um, well, my time is 12 Eastern, 9 o'clock Pacific. They're on the East Coast, all right? And next we have another Batman. This is also Batman number one. This is by Stanley Art Germ Lau, and that is just a beautiful, beautiful cover. See Harley Quinn there with Batman. So, what else do we have here? Ah, okay. All right. So um, I got one more coming in the mail. I looked for one today, but they they were sold out. So um, I'll get one last one for Batman number one, and um, that'll be it. I'll be happy with my Batman number one collection. So there you go. So you got a couple of those. Okay. So there you have it. 
Batman number one. Okay, and then the next one I got was Batman number 442. First time, not the first Tim Drake, but the first time Tim Drake is in the Robin costume. Um, so it's a really classic, uh, iconic cover, quite frankly. Um, and this is actually signed here by George Perez. And normally there's a UPC here, um, but this is a, a direct, direct edition. So if you see it with this, it's direct. If you see it with the UPC, it's newsstand. So pretty cool. Glad to have that in my collection. Got a really good deal on it as well. So there's that. Next we have Green Lantern number one. This was the cover B. They are one to one variants. There's no other like one to 10, one to 25 ratio. But this was done by um, Emmanuel Lupacino. Next we have Titans Rebirth. Dan Abnett, really good stuff. Batman number one. Excuse me, Superman number one? What the hell am I thinking? Um, all right. And I think that's all I got for DC for now. I'll get some more in my pull box. Wait for me to pick up, but okay. Spider-Man 14, Regent, B.E.K., Black Eyed Kids, number three. Really good. I highly recommend that series. It's only an issue three, so you could probably go back and scoop those up pretty easily. Really good if you like uh, horror, scary, ghost stories. Civil War number two. Surprised me on that series. We're talking about it on the... Um, comicbooked.com podcast surprised by it this one here is translated over from French uh, it's called Norman and it's by Titan Comics um, I like this cover had to pick it up very interesting it's different uh, style of artwork than maybe what the, the cover conveys um, next we have Deadpool number 14 Civil War tie-in Civil War 2 tie-in Spider-Gwen, number nine. First appearance of the Punisher in her pocket universe there. Um, from Icon by Bendis and Believe, we have all new Scarlet number 10. It's taken us ages to get to number 10, but there it is. Um, Savage Wolverine number one. That is a cover by J. Scott Campbell for Mile High Comics. Really, really like it. Bring this one closer for you. And then I got another J. Scott I'll show you in a minute. Okay, cool cover. Okay, and we have, this is just the regular cover. My shop actually only had the one cover. This is the Dark Knight Return of the Last Crusade. Okay. And then the other one I picked up here is Wacky Raceland, but I got the adult coloring book cover just for fun. Okay. And then last but certainly not least is Spider Gwen number nine comic exposure. Uh, this is by J. Scott Campbell and Nii Rafino. I uh, really love this as well. There was a color, but I really had to go. I mean, uh, black and white, but I really had to go with the color version of it. Um, just thought it was really fantastic, and I'm looking forward to the uh, Spider Man number fifteen that I happened to snag as well. Um, so I'm getting pretty good about getting those. Um, so that's what I got uh, for the haul. Uh, plenty of stuff on its way and route or waiting for the, the shipping notice on. So um, next haul should be, um, you know, not too long in the future and some more good stuff to show you. Um, but let me know down below what you thought of this, what you liked, what you didn't like, um, you know, what you loved or whatever. And, um, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a haul. But um, if you want to see kind of like what I do is on the JLS Comics Facebook page or um, Instagram for JLS Comics. I'll, I'll throw up a picture there as, as these things come in. So if you want a preview or you just for whatever reason can't wait to see my video, I don't know why that would be, um, you know, head, head on over there and usually put up the pictures and stuff. And, you know, good um, stories, good artwork, things to look out for, some, you know, stuff like that. So I'm um, trying to have fun with those things as well. But um, that'll do it. Trying to keep this around 10 minutes here. Um, like, sub, comment, share. You know the drill there. And then uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a special how-to video. So um, look forward to that. It'll be Sunday. Um, and um, that should do it, guys. I um, hope you're having a good weekend. And I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.